Saturday we are ready to go everybody ready to go all right if you're joining us on the live you need a set of dumbbells a step with risers is optional we're gonna use this as our our bench press so for today's workout we got a combination of upper body and lower body mixed in with some Tabata rounds all right so let's get stretched out just a couple minutes they've already been stretching out the studio hopefully if you jumped on you're already stretching out getting warmed up feet together go down touch those toes just make sure you use a weight that is challenging but it doesn't interfere with your safety all right if it compromises your form over the quality go lighter if it compromises your safety Meaning if you're straining or pulling a muscle to execute that movement, go down. Don't be afraid to lower the weight. At the same time, if it's not challenging for you, then be a little bit more aggressive and go up, all right? Squat it down, take both hands, throw them on those heels. Today's workout is about 30 minutes long. We're gonna go with repetitions. Again, if you've been rocking out with us all week at 5 a.m. and been doing the push pull days so you know that we've gone to repetitions as opposed to timed rounds so shout out to 
to all of those on-demand subscribers. I see some of you on the live. What's up this morning? All right, Miss Cooper. I see Shamika. Um, those are those on-demand subscribers that pay the monthly to work out with us, not just when they're free on YouTube. But shout out to those ladies if you want to join. Go to GetFitWithDG.com. All right, stand up nice and tall. Start to circle out those arms. You're going to reverse those arms. Take some deep breaths. Roll those necks around. Circle them out. Take that left arm, reach it all the way over to the right. Switch it up. All right, big lunge over to that right side. Kind of pulsate that lunge. Switch it up when you're ready to the opposite side. Roll that back, all the way back. Take those fingertips down to the ground. Take that right hand to the right foot, left hand to the left foot. Push those fingertips down as far as you can get them down, just for about 10 seconds. All right, stand it up, bring those knees up to the chest, alternate them for about 30 seconds. All right, let's dive into our first set. So let me explain it, let me set up how the format's gonna go. We're gonna do four sets of 10 to 12 reps, all right? So 10 is the minimum that I want you to shoot for, 12 is the maximum I want you to shoot for in these segments and in these movements. So we're gonna do four sets of 10 to 12. We're gonna start out with a chest flip, so we're gonna lay flat on our backs. When we come here, we're gonna chest press, but at the top, you're gonna flip, all right? So you got 10 to 12 reps, all right, and go. Now in between those sets, take about 20 to 30 seconds, and then go right back into the next set. So you got a chest press, put those weights right around at the top. Once you get through that first set, take about 20, 30 seconds, and then go into that next set. Make sure you're keeping track of the 10 to 12 reps. You really wanna go for a minimum of 10 and a maximum of 12. So most of, I want you to do is 12 reps. Minimum is 10, all right? All right. And if you don't have that step with risers that creates that nice little bench, you can do these right on the ground. You don't need a step board at all. We got four sets, 10 to 12 reps. We're using a challenging weight that's safe and effective, but it also challenges you. So it keeps you honest. It keeps that foot on the gas so you don't get comfortable. Nice, breathe in, breathe out.
All right, as we're near the end of that third set, some of you are going on to your fourth set. We're going to go to a single arm fly with a sumo squat with both hands, all right? So once we get through this four sets of those chest flies, we'll get into those single arm um, flies with the sumo squat. So as you finish up, you can start to stand up, get ready to go into that next set, that next set of movements. We're gonna do this one for three sets. So one, two, three, and the reps are going to be eight per arm with the sumo squat, all right? So we're going to do a single arm fly with the right into a sumo squat. So you're gonna squat down, slight squat, do a single arm fly, bring the feet together, do a sumo squat, and then do the left arm, all right? You got eight per arm times three sets, all right? So eight, squat, eight, all right? You can start whenever you're ready. Single arm fly brings us to the sumo squat. Then you do that left arm fly. Kind of isolate those arms. So essentially, you're going to be getting in two squats per set of flies. Because you're going to do the right fly, do a sumo squat, do the left fly, do a sumo squat. So that's why this workout is not just geared towards upper body. It's also bringing in your lower body because you're using your legs, your quadriceps, those calf muscles to get into the sumo squat. Remember to keep those arms kind of wide on the fly. Try not to use any momentum as you do that fly. And we're looking for eight on the right and eight on the left. This is the one that may take us a little bit more time because we got a lot of movements happening, right? You got two flies, two squats, one right arm, one left arm. So you're going to do eight. Eight is just the guide. If you can only get in six, maybe five, but we're shooting for eight. So we don't have a range of eight to 10 or 10 to 12. We're shooting for just eight, okay? So eight right arm flies, left eight arm flies with those two squats in between each fly. All right, let's go. And you got three sets of eight, all right? Let's go. Make sure you control your breathing throughout the entire workout. No rush, no fire to put out. All right, we're looking good so far, so good. What's up, everybody? As you're tapping in, let's get it. We're on to our second movement, which are those single arm flies with a sumo squat in the middle. All right, single right fly, single left fly. You got that squat in the middle. Three sets of eight repetitions try your hardest not to jerk try your hardest not to use momentum all strength all you all the reps all right this set to eight let's go
All right, get in those three sets of eight. Single fly squat, single fly squat. You're getting two squats per set of flies. All right, our next move, once we get through those single arm flies with the squats for three sets, we're gonna go into our Tabata sets. So we're gonna, we have a non-stop timer to set for about 30 to 35 minutes. When we go into our Tabatas, they're gonna be eight rounds or eight intervals of 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off. This is the part where we push our heart rates a little bit more. So we flip into the cardio section of the workout, all right? For our uh, Tabata movements, we're gonna do an inside outside squat with a down up. So inside, outside, down up, then outside, inside, down, up. So as long as you're going out and tap the floor to a down up, you're gonna be doing that for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. All right, let's get into those Tabata rounds. You gotta do eight rounds. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Out inside squat, then just a down up, all right? Three, two, one. Out, in, down up. Out, in, down up. Out, in, down, up, all right? So you're jumping those feet out, Mark. in. I go wide again so I can touch the ground and shoot up. But we want those heart rates to elevate Three, in this Tabata movement. Two, two one, one, relax, rest. all right? You've only got 10 seconds off, and then you go at it again. You're gonna do this for eight rounds. Three, Seven more to two, go. Two, one, one let's go. go. Out, in, down, up. Out, in, down, up, let's go. Out, in, tap and shoot up. Out, in, down up, let's go. Eight more seconds. Come on, five more seconds. Three, three two, two, one. one. All right, Rest. that's interval number three. All right, you hear me say rounds or intervals, same thing. Three, 20 seconds two, on to work, One. 10 seconds go. to recover, let's go. Now we want you at the height of that heart rate. Now, I don't mean you can see that heart beating through the chest, Mark. but I want you to push yourself out of that zone one, zone two, zone three, get into that four, zone five. Three. And we're only going to be there two, for eight rounds, one, 20 rest. seconds on, 10 seconds off. Don't hit that brake, hit that gas pedal on this movement. Three, three two, two, one. one. Let's go. Out go. and down and up. Now, this is four out of eight. Come on, keep working. Come on, you got Mark. it. Jump those legs out, in, do that down up. Let's go. Out, Three, in, down two, up, round one. number four. Rest. Done, all right? Four down, four to go. Let me get back to the weights. Three, Three two, two one. one. Let's go. go. Let's go. Come on, fight for it. This is the part of the workout where Mark. my boy Sean T calls it, you dig deeper, you dig deeper rounds. Those moments where it gets harder and Three, you really have to dig two, deeper. One, rest. Past the surface, past the, oh my God, I woke up and I'm doing it. You gotta dig deeper into that Three, core two, to get those results. One, Let's go. go, out and down. Now, if you're counting, like 99% of you, this is interval six. Mark. Come on, halfway. Come on, let's work. Three, two, two one. one. Rest. All right, that was six. Seven and eight. Come on, breathe it in. Three, Three two, two, one. 
One. Go. See yourself completing these movements. Visualize yourself getting to what you classify as your ideal body. Mark. Come on, eight seconds. Come on, we're almost there. This is the Tabata. Three. Three, two, two one. one. Rest. One interval remains between you and finishing Three, up. Two. Two. One. one. Let's go. Out go. In. Tap it and go. Let's go. Out in 15 seconds. Come on, work. Work for it. Come on. You're gonna hear that mark. mark. There's your there's your 10 seconds. Halfway. Come on. It's the journey. Three. Come on. Two. two one. one. Rest. All right, grab water. We got a rear delt fly plus a deadlift. We're doing four sets, 12 to 15 reps. All right, 12 on the minimum. 15 on the maximum. You're gonna grab both of those weights. Don't fly, plus your deadlift. You can start when you're ready. You've got 12, right? 12 to 15 reps. Now remember, you're already more upright when you do the fly, or when you do the row. So you wanna already be upright. Slight bend in the knees. So you don't wanna be straight as a board. You wanna be slightly bent. Do the row here. Now make sure we're not doing an upright row. Make sure we're actually doing a delt row back. All right. 10 to 12 reps, four sets, all right? Slight bend, so we can do a rear delt row here. Elbows push back, not up, or to the sides. Rear delt row, bring the arms back here, do your deadlift. Bring the weights here, roll them back, all right? So, three different angles. This is more upright, elbows to the right, and left is the second, but we wanna go here. So we wanna roll back, all right? You got four sets, 12 to 15. So if I forget and say eight to 10, I mean 12 to 15. 12 on the low end, 15 on the high end. It's a rear delt row plus the deadlift. Now those Tabatas, Got your heart rates up a little more. So control your breathing. There's another Tabata coming after the next weighted set. All right, let's go. 12 to 15 reps for this rear delt. Rear delt row. All right, don't be afraid of those weights. Don't be afraid of those weights. <laughs> you're gonna lose weight. You're gonna lose fat. You're gonna lose weight. You're gonna lose fat by increasing those workout days where you add weights, all right? So we don't wanna target weight loss going to target fat loss, right? Because when you lose weight, you can also you lose some of your muscles. So we don't want to lose muscle mass. Remember on the second half of our lives, that's what we're focused on now. I'm over the 40 mark, making that your best half of your life. As you get older, muscle starts to fade. So you want to build that muscle now, not just doing cardio, but implementing weights two to three days a week, mixed in with those Tabata sequences like we did, all right? Let's go. 
12 to 15 reps four times. traditional curls which we're going to do on the bottom half on the top half you're going to turn those knuckles up and those palms are going to face downward so that you can do a reverse curl then you're going to flip them over do a regular curl all right then flip them over do a reverse curl at the bottom flip them back over do a regular curl now the reverse curl plus the regular curl counts as two reps. All right, so I want you to go one, two, three, four, all right? We're going for 10 curls times five rounds. Five rounds, all right? Five rounds. So, reverse curl, one, two, three, four, five. All right, you can start. You got five sets of 10. Set one, five sets, 10. Now, as those weights get, the, get a little bit heavier, it's easier for you to lose the form. I want you to squeeze your butt so your hips lock, so you're not swaying and rocking. Then execute both of those curls, the reverse and the flip fly, regular, regular curl. I'm going back to the press. You got your reverse, then your regular curl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, times five sets. Woo! Five sets. That gives us 25 reverse, 25 regular, but we're doing them on the top and the bottom. Now, when you do your reverse curl, just make sure you keep it all arms, right? And by arms, I mean focusing on the biceps. Indirectly, you're using shoulders, you're using your whole body, right? But you're trying to isolate that movement by making it just about the arms. And by arms, I mean biceps. So let's not go here. Use those biceps to make the curl happen. Slow down and think about the movement, then execute the movement from your mind to your body. So your mind tells your body, don't use those shoulders to raise. Do that curl here, then flip. Then do your second half of the curl. Nobody's form's gonna be perfect. We're just trying to get closest to being better as we can. seven minutes on the timer but we're gonna finish this workout all right we've only got one movement left 
But we gotta go to Tabatas after this movement. All right, so we gotta go to a Tabata movement for eight rounds. So we got one weighted movement that we're gonna do at the end. So we're going through chest, just chest flies and the flip, single arm flies with the sumo squat. All right, we've done the rear delt fly. We're on the two curls, one reverse, one regular. Woo. Hopefully you're you're working, you're enjoying the Saturday morning workout. Woo. Great job, everybody. Push through. Finish these five sets. Those arms are gonna be fully stocked by summer. Fully stocked by summer. Do yourself a favor. Don't go backwards to go forwards. So what I mean by that is if the sets are hard right now, don't go down just to finish the workout. Stay where you are. Stay patient with yourself. Own where you are and stand on business. Don't go backwards just to go forwards to say, hey, I'm gonna go down so I can finish this workout a little bit faster. If it's for safety reason, go down. If it's for mind reason, stay there. Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Back in there, baby, just stay in a town. I'm on the edge, I ain't coming down. I get too high, I'm afraid of the ground. I'm young and I'm paid to play with these sounds. So, when we do those curls, make sure we keep those weights here on the curl. Right? Don't let those wrists twist here. We want our curl to be solid. So here's where we land. Look where we at, I can see where we at it, but I can't see me finish. Three years ago, I was down on my last, was stuck at the crib. Now, those elbows gotta stay where? Inside. We don't wanna be here. We want our curl to look here. Alright, set four, set five. Remember, you got five sets. Ten curls. One, two, five sets. We're almost to the Tabata round. So we get those heart rates back up. And then we're gonna finish. We're gonna land this plane. your form this is always your form check drop your weights and do it without weights and look at how your form should be and then when you add weights you should have the same form if you compromise your form by a lean or rock back or elbows going wider and go down on weight so we know we want to be here those weights, same form. All right, in about one minute, we're going to those Tabatas so we can land this plane. Almost there. 30 seconds. We're going to go to our Tabatas and at home. If you don't have a, a step with risers, I need you to go find your nearest chair or maybe even the edge of a couch. I know, yes, you're working out at home. You need some elevated object because we're gonna toe tap for 20 seconds. Alright, on these 
about us. You can do them anywhere on the step in studio. We're just here. So Three, if you got a two, a one, riser at home, go. or you have a little chair, I want you to go at it for 20 seconds. Now these simplistic Tabata movements start to raise those heart rates and those arms are naturally swinging like you're running while you're tapping. Yes, make it be natural. Three, Three two, two one. one, relax. Rest. You ever seen a person run like this? Same thing. Use those arms to get momentum. Three, Three two, two, one, go. 20 seconds. Come on, work. Mark. Halfway. Interval number two. Three, two, one. one. All right. Rest. Two rounds down. Six to go. Perfect time. Three, Three two, two, one. One. Go. All right. 20 seconds. Come on, fight for it. Dig deeper. Arms are moving. Come on, fight for it. Come on, pick Mark. it up. 10 seconds. Come on, fight for it. Use those arms. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Rest. Interval four. I need you to use those sprinter arms. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Round Go. number four. Use those arms. Swing them right, back, forward, back, forward, back. 15 seconds. We've got four more rounds. Mark. Intervals of Tabata. One weighted movement left. And we're laying in Three, this plane. Three, two, two one. one. Time. Rest. Interval number five. So dig deeper round. Gonna dig down Three, deeper. Two. Focus. One. Focus. Go. Focus. Mark. 10 seconds. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Rest. Round six. With anything, it's about finishing Three, what you start. Two, two one. one. Go. Round six of eight. Halfway mark. Mark. Come on, five seconds. Three, two, two, one. All right, two rounds left. Rest. Two intervals. Two. 20 seconds. Come on, you Three, can fight through this. Two, two one. one. Let's go. Go. 20 on. Mark. Three, two, one, rest. Final round. Apply Three, pressure. Two, two one. one. Go. Round number eight. Interval eight. Come on, use those. Mark. Three, two, one. Time. Rest. We got an overhead <coughs> dumbbell press. Three, two, one. Done. All right, overhead dumbbell press. Oh, I'm sorry. Overhead dumbbell pull. So you want to be on the edge. So that those arms you go all the way down. All right, we're going to start. Four sets. Ten to twelve repetitions. You want to fully extend those arms all the way out on the pull. And when it pulls back over the chest. We're almost there. Yeah. I swear God been blessing me. You think you been testing me. Don't mean 
let me swatch, let me squeeze. Peace has been my recipe. You buy watch and bust them down. Mine is my investment piece. Heard your mixes, drown it out. Ow, ow, you need to buy right, 10 to 12 piece. reps. I don't fold, I don't Four fear. Sets. Fully white, no veneers. Keep it clean, check it's clear. Water clear, pee is clear. See the light. We're gonna land this plane. See the light. I go near, let me Woo! shine. Watch me shine, I'm gonna shine. This in clear. Double up, double up. The money I could look. All right, if you happen to jump on and you're like, yo, I want to do more of these. We do these Monday through Thursday at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I've been adding Saturdays back because like the, when the summer comes back, we, go, we start to go outside. We start to do evening boot camps. All right, and, and then Saturdays, I start adding Saturdays back. So you'll start to see more Saturdays. You'll start to see more evening boot camps, and you'll never miss any of those if you're already on demand. Because even if you miss the live, it goes straight to on demand. So we don't just do step, we do more total body workouts, we do more HIIT workouts, we do more upper body, lower body, more core, more abs, more cardio workouts, more strength workouts, then we do step. At most, we may do two to three step workouts a week. Now that's still a lot, because that's three, six, 12, three, six, nine, why did I say three, six, nine, three, six, 12, three, six, nine, 12. At the minimum, you may get 12 step workouts a month that go straight on demand. That's, that's a lot of workouts. Sometimes four, sometimes even when a pop up, it may be five in a week. But you're guaranteed to get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, sometimes a bonus Friday, and then sometimes a bonus Saturday, depending on if I'm traveling, but I've done a lot less of that. So we've been Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all right? So as we add on, this is the time we add on those evening boot camps. So you see some mornings, and then you see some evenings. You'll see one or two in the morning, then you'll see some evening boot camps so we can stagger those workouts. So we'll probably go morning, 5 a.m., Tuesday evening, Wednesday morning, Thursday evening, all right, something like that, all right, or Monday evening, Tuesday morning, you get what I'm saying, yes, all right, so, finish those dumbbell pullovers, once you get through your four sets, we're going to stretch, we're going to land this plane, all right, If you join the workout and you've enjoyed it also, you can't sign up on demand, just make a quick donation to that cash app or that sale. It's scrolling right on the bottom. We're going to do our best to keep this workout up. So you'll start to hear, those of you that have been rocking with me for a while, on those full body workouts or workouts like this, we're going to try to use music that we can actually own so that they can stay up on YouTube and we don't have to worry about copyright issues. So they may not be the hip hop workouts you're normally, music you're normally used to listening to, but it's music, you're focused on the workout, right? If we're doing a step workout, we are focused on the music and the move, but in these types of workouts, the music is just a compliment to the workout, all right? So you're like, yo, where's the Eminem? Where's the Dre? Where's the Drake? All right, don't worry, focus on the workout. All right, you finished those eight, those four sets of dumbbell pullovers, we're done. We are, we've made it to the end. We're gonna stretch out. Take that left leg, go all the way forward, lunge all the way down. Take that right elbow, go across the left knee and twist and hold. Switch it up. Take that left leg back, take that left elbow across the right, twist that body and hold there for eight to 10 seconds. Maybe longer if you need to stretch out longer. Stand it up nice and tall. Right leg, left leg, alternate those hurdles. Once we finish those hurdles, just alternate those arm circles, get those chest back, arms kind of stretch out. Let that body lay long, pulsate to those floor taps. 
Those disc twists, right to left. Some more pulsing with those fingertip taps. Feet together, take that left arm, bend all the way over to the right. Do that for 10 to 15 seconds, then do the same thing. Going over to your left. Take those, those deep breaths in. Inhale. And exhale. All right, we are out of here. Great job, everybody. Circle it up in studio. We are ready to go. At home with us, we got team on three. Here we go. One, two, three. Team, great job, everybody. We'll see you on the next live. Way to rock. Way to roll and way to get it in. Great job, everybody. Have an amazing weekend.